What's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of RKFA Cooks. That's right, man. This is going to be the first cooking episode of many to come. Uh, we're going to be going to the kitchen and uh, frying some redfish, uh, making some uh, hand cooked fries, and uh, some fresh tartar sauce. Let's get in the kitchen and tear it up. Shh, tight lines. All right, guys. Welcome to my kitchen. Let's go ahead and get this tray ready. All right, now it goes into the microwave. That way it's ready for the fish and the fries. All right, let's go ahead and get the red fish, put it on the cutting board and look over it. You guys can see that strip of red meat. We need to cut that off with the knife because that's what gives it that real fishy taste. So it's pretty easy to cut out. Just go ahead and take your knife and you're gonna cut into a V shape. And you're not taking meat off at all. It's just like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a vein or something. It's a dark meat and it's in the surface. So it's not, you're not taking off any meat at all. Yeah, and just remember to look over your fillets and just make sure and get all that red stuff off of it, man. You want your meat to taste good, not real fishy. All right, guys, it looks like we are done cutting out all the red meat. Now it's time to cut out all our nuggets. All right, guys, so I went ahead and got my bowl with some cold water. So, um, I don't know, I've always used cold water uh, to put my fish in right before I start cooking them. Um, I don't know, I, it, it just to me it just feels like it's uh, the fish likes it more. I think the meat likes uh, being chilled before it goes into the hot oil. Alright, so I'm going over these thick pieces and I really don't like them this thick. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just cut them in half. I want about a half inch to uh, maybe like a 5 8 thick um, nugget. That way they all kind of cook evenly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let the red fish set in the cold water for about 45 minutes or so. So while it's chilling in the water, we're gonna go ahead and start rinsing our potatoes, uh, peeling and slicing them. I wanna take this opportunity to thank every single one of you guys who continue to watch my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, so I'm just trying to figure and just come up with new stuff to, to put out on, on, on my channel other than just fishing. So hopefully uh, this becomes a little trend of mine here. Alright, we're going to take half an onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and three to six slices of jalapenos. So it all depends on how hot you like it. Uh, just put however much you guys want. Just make sure everything is finely chopped. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add half a cup of sweet dill relish. A healthy pinch of curry powder three crushed saltine crackers thirteen very crushed butter crackers haya fist of fury now we're going to add about a half a cup of mayonnaise And just mix away until everything is nice and mixed and then just throw it in the fridge until your fish is done cooking. 
just make sure that your fries are completely dry. You need to pat them down with the paper towel so that the oil doesn't splash all over. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take our fish fry and uh, pour it in a Ziploc bag. And that's where the magic is going to happen. Okay, this part I've been asked about. Um, I don't drain my fish. I take it out of the cold water and just let just let some of the water run off of it and, and I just pour it in the Ziploc bag and just shake the whole thing up and the fish fry just sticks to it just perfectly fine I think. Then I just take it and put it on a paper plate and, and just let it sit there until all my fish fry nuggets are ready. Alright, let's start off with the fries. Remember, just make sure that they're dry. That way, the oil doesn't splash all over the place. Okay, now that the fries have got a head start, let's go ahead and start on our redfish nuggets. Alright, so I forgot to mention, make sure your oil is about 340 to 350 degrees uh, before you start putting your food in. Uh, so I'm just letting the fish cook for about a minute to a minute and a half. And um, if I see that one side uh, needs to be a little cooked, you know, I just kind of flip one side over. But um, that's all it takes, man. You don't want to overcook your fish. So what I do is I take my fish and put it on a paper plate with paper towels just to get that hot oil off of it. Then uh, about 30 seconds later, I'd go and dump it into the tray that's in the microwave. Oh guys man the food came out so delicious the tartar sauce came out just like the kings and tartar sauce if you guys haven't had it uh, the, the redfish came out great so did the fries uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if y'all did please hit the like uh, I'm thinking more uh, fish cooking videos in the future so uh, till next time guys tight lines okay.